In Moscow, on the first anniversary of the war in South Ossetia, many in the region are taking time to reflect. In the US, however, there's almost no mention of the war, so heavily covered by the media just a year ago. Artis Marina Portna has been to find out why South Ossetia is just old news in America. One year ago, the story went as follows. Georgia says Russian troops blew up a key... Round and round, the news cycle spun. The American media proclaimed an unrelenting commitment to covering the South Ossetian War. Never mind the fuzzy facts, Russia was seen as the aggressor in the court of public opinion. Georgia, the little democracy that could. One year later, the blanket of reporting has halted leaving Americans clueless as the South Ossetian War marks its one-year anniversary. No. You don't remember it? No. You don't remember the biggest story that took place this time last year? No. Oh, uh, no, nah, what was it? God, now you got me. I don't, um, I don't remember. Um, not off the top of my head, no. Manhattan, the epicenter of messages, positioned in the media capital of the country, no mention of South Ossetia on news tickers or plasma screens. Healthcare, finance, Obama, and more Obama dictate the narrative of the current news cycle. Last year's South Ossetian war dominated the front pages of the newspapers for weeks, playing a pivotal role in the presidential election. Then candidate Obama and his opponent John McCain flexed their uh, foreign policy muscles defending Georgia. But a year later, the South Ossetian War has fallen from the headlines. No mention of it. With so much left untold, the country struggles to rebuild following Georgia's invasion last August. And Americans are left in the dark about the anniversary. There's no point in giving you the hard facts at the beginning and then it's not seeing how it develops. South Ossetia isn't the only news story the American media has dropped once it's gone off the boil. The coup in Honduras and the conflict in Gaza have also slipped below the radar. So Americans aren't surprised the domestic media divorced itself from last year's global story. They, they just take it out as long as they can uh, from a Nielsen Reddy's point of view, and then they just drop it after that. And they look at each other to see who's putting what on. Yeah, I guess it's overshadowed with the uh, Michael Jackson death and things like that. America's news media still mourns the death of one pop icon, but has forgotten those who lost their lives in the South Ossetian War. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.